So welcome back guys. In this episode number 16 of building my low cost the Super 7 car, I will show you how I fix my steering once for all and also the steering rack itself and also the steering axle will be mounted perfectly fine where I will be using them in the future. I also show you how you protect yourself from the prop shaft. So the video itself doesn't contain a lot of large things, but as you can see here, the car itself, if you are looking closely, have some changes to it. Like the rear end have brakes, the front end have brakes, the rear end basically have a tank and mounts for the um, for different things like the seat belts. So guys, a lot of things is coming in the nearest video. So don't forget to subscribe before we start this video. Yeah, subscribe now, please. Thank you. I start with protection for the prop shaft by cutting out some material that will be bending into shape. I start with bending the actual end where the screw will be. And this is just plain brute force because I don't have any bender for this. I'm using an old bearing from a car uh, because the shape around the bearing was actually quite good for the prop shaft itself. It's a quite nice round shape that I got from it, so I'm pretty happy with it. Doing the other side of the connection to the screw and everything, it's a little bit tricky. This flattened iron is actually only, I think it was three millimeters thick. So it's actually doable. Here you basically can see the finished product, where it's how it sits. Just making sure that it actually is straight. Marking out where the holes is going to be. And some drilling. And cleaning up afterwards, of course. Making sure to remove any burr if there are any left. So that's the rear part. And here I have the front part. And as you can see, they differ. And that's because the rear flexes a lot more. Here we have 14 centimeters and here we have almost 10. It was a little bit more than I wanted. I wanted 8. But that's due to design. So, but I think they look great. It's time to do the mount and get them on the car. Some more markings. Welding them together, then I know that the distance and the holes will be on the same spot. Drilling the holes. 
and rounding off the corners so they actually look pretty as well. Splitting them again and then it's time to attach them to the car. I'm measuring out the distance to add some brackets in between so they can tie to. And some more cutting. Cleaning up the area where to weld. TIG welding is notorious for needing of clean area. And in this case I'm MIG, weld, MIG tag welding it first. And dropping things of course. So if we go back here, you will see that I have the prop shaft parts that protects you mounted as well. And it's rather simple, it's just flattened iron uh, bolted together. And I'm bolting this together with M10 bolts. And that should be more than enough to handle this. So guys, it's time to do something about the steering itself. As you can see here, I have this makeshift shaft here. And I don't have this joint here perfectly set up. And this joint here is almost 40 degrees and that's 15 too much. You generally don't want about 20 on many of them. So we're going to change the joint, change the shaft and change the angle. And here's the new shaft, it's an aluminium shaft, 20 millimeter, and the joint is here, it's a really sturdy one, uh, way too thick for this usage really, but we're going to start with that one, so let's remove it. I'm starting with disassembling the current setup of course. In this old shaft there is a little bit of a tap that makes it impossible to get this new nut on top of it, so I had to remove that one. I will be uh, drilling a hole for the new um, for new parts itself instead. So this one actually fits really nice inside here. So that's good. Thing is, this end layer is 19 and this is 20. You potentially can grind it down like this, but uh, you don't get it good enough. You need a proper lathe. What I'm doing here is just making sure that the edges are lined up to the nut itself and test fitting them to make sure that there are no play and they actually sit really really good. Marking for the holes. Center punching and drilling. And of course my head is in the way. Test fitting again. And back to the car. And as always you spend hours and hours and hours thinking of is this the position the correct one or should I move it? 
And that's basically what I'm doing right now. Let's try the upper position itself. And I rather quickly determined that this one actually gets too close to the turbo. So I'm actually going to move it down again. Spot welding the new mount to place. Making sure that I sit as I want them to. And then I go back and take weld, of course. So the steering mount itself is mounted here. Here you can see the upper one. I did lift it out from the frame, that bit. And that was because the angle here was too narrow before and it's a lot better now. The bottom shaft itself got some brackets mounted and I did add some extra triangulation here just to make it a little bit sturdier and it looks cooler. The front itself, as you can see, now have one member to each side holding it up and that would should be plenty sturdy enough and most likely a bit overkill but that should work as well and yeah you can see my cooler is mounted too cool right so guys thank you for watching and as you saw today we went through and did a couple of smaller things on the car like the steering was mounted and the steering column itself was done, the axles there, and the prop shaft protection was also sorted. I did give you a couple of hints of what's coming in the next video, so stay tuned for that. And if you have any comments regarding the car or anything that you want to ask about it, feel free to drop it down below in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.